A couple of weeks ago, I was doing a presentation. It was actually to the Rod Blagojevich Center for Ethical Government. <laughs> and it was a, actually, uh, to be honest with you, it was a, a spellbinding, awe-inspiring presentation. And Rod Blagojevich came up to me afterwards and he said to me, Connor, that speech is bleeping golden. A little lady came up to me. She was actually uh, a nun. Uh, she was actually uh, Mother Octavia of the Seven Sorrows from Six Flags. <laughs> she had five sisters, four brothers, three were nuns, two were priests, and one was a black sheep of the family, a politician. Um, but she was a lovely lady. She was kind of like Mother Teresa in size and demeanor and personality. And uh, she said to me, Mr. Kaneen, Mr. Kaneen, that was a no inspiring spellbinding presentation. See? Um, and uh, she said to me, I loved your piece about goals, attitudes, and behavior. But she said, when you were living back in Ireland many years ago, and you were barely surviving on a meager daily diet of thin cabbage soup and overboiled potatoes with the skin left on for added fiber. <laughs> and she said to me, when you were living in one of those, sleeping in one of those tiny beds in a tiny room, in a tiny cottage, in a tiny village, overlooking as you saw the sun go down over Galway Bay. And I said to her, you mean dear little old lady, when I was living in one of those pretty whitewashed thatched cottages that dot the picturesque Irish landscape? And she said to me, shut up and don't interrupt me. And then she went on to say, Mother Octavia went on to say, Mr. Kaneen, when you were living in one of those pretty whitewashed thatched cottages that dot the picturesque Irish landscape, did you at that stage have a clear goal and a clear vision that you would become a cherished and a beloved inspirational speaker who brings hope and meaning to the lives of ordinary people <laughs> and even extraordinary people at the Edward Hospital Recognition Luncheon? <laughs> word for word. I told her, you know, dear little old lady, it wasn't as easy as that, because I remember many years ago running home. There was bitter, salty tears running down my angelic face. <laughs> the kids in the neighborhood had been calling me names again, and I ran home into the arms of my mother. I tell you, it was a painful experience, because she had four arms the size of Brian Orlacher's. <laughs> And I said to her, Mama, Mama, I'll never become a cherished and beloved inspirational speaker who brings hope and meaning to the lives of ordinary people and even extraordinary people at the Edward Hospital recognition luncheon. <laughs> Do you know how hard it is to say that to your mother when there's tears running down your freckled face? And she said, why not, son? I said, Mama, Mama, how can I become a great motivational speaker? I mean, think of the disadvantages. The, the, the deadbeat dad, the poor school grades, the poverty and the, 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 the stutter. I said, how can I be seen to be a motivational speaker when we have none of those challenges as a family? <laughs> My mother put down her glass of Dom Perignon champagne. <laughs> And she said to me, son, son, you will become a cherished and beloved inspirational speaker who brings hope and meaning to the lives of ordinary people. And as for the people at Edward Hospital, son, nothing can help them. <laughs> uh, but she said to me though, son, you do have some growing up to do. I mean, you are 28 years of age. <laughs> and, and she said to me, though, son, but I do have some advice for you. And I said, the advice I can give you, son, is to remember the gift of gab. And my mama said to me, Connor, if you remember the gift of gab, goals, attitudes, behavior, it can create a top of the morning experience for you and for the people that you work with. So she said, when it comes to goals, set yourself a simple goal that you can make a difference to someone on Monday or Tuesday or Wednesday, because it will actually pay it forward and it'll go on. When things go wrong, she said to me, and they will, the question to ask yourself is, what do I want my attitude to be? And if you have the simple goal of helping people, if you have a question to remember, what do I want my attitude to be, she said to me, when things go wrong, that is going to help you with your behavior. 
And the simple little GPS, the GPS back in those days, um, the simple little GPS that you can use to help you stay on track with your behavior is to write down three words on your business card, on a paper that you will see today, tomorrow, and on Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Three words to describe how you would like someone to describe you. Goals, attitudes, behavior. And I said to my mom, I said, goals, attitudes, behavior. I said, I like it. Will that help me to become a cherished and beloved inspirational speaker? <laughs> and she said, it might, son, but if you bring goals, attitudes, behavior, it will definitely help you to be a better person. And was my mom right? Yes. Yeah, she was. 